What do we got? War 3, 129. Oh, 8920 PTR updated. 20 hours ago. Today is Friday, the 16th of March. And first of all, this is Matt Morris. He's a developer. And he has worked on the original Warcraft. You may have seen my interview with him on YouTube recently after the Warcraft 3 Summit a few weeks ago. And here's the first renewed PTR update after the first one. Okay, so uh, first of all, the address has improved. Before it was Hail Commanders, which is how, uh, how the developers talked to the StarCraft uh, players, StarCraft 2 players. Now we're War Chiefs, Liches, Commanders and Keepers, which is really nice. <laughs> I, I feel I feel represented as a as a man as a uh, yeah as a man and an orc I feel like uh, society sees me for who I am as a war chief it's, it's good to know that I get recognized as a rampaging murdering pillaging but still sensitive and honorable orc so the PTR is updated and ready for your scrutiny and here are the downloaders and I'll put the link in the chat you can see it in the chat whether you are on YouTube, you'll find it in the comment section below as well. Um, and uh, Or whether you are here in chat, then you can see it as well. So, all right. Uh, team colors revision and camera reset to 128 height. Oh, okay. It's a full reset, not uh, an in-between point. Yeah, because we have 128 live, which is the same as uh, Warcraft has always been. And then there's the elevated zoom. And there was some talk of maybe going in between. But it looks like for now, they want to measure the effect of the old zoom level with the new widescreen. And this, this may or may not be uh, permanent. They seem open to suggestions. And I'm not speaking from some kind of... Like, I knew that they were going to do this with the camera. Because I know we talked about it at the summit. Either keep the same height, go all the way down to what it was, or in between. Apparently, they go all the way down. Okay. So, let's see how that goes, okay? Over the next few days, uh, from Friday, today, 16 March, till the next two days. We're going to be playing on the PTR mostly. And, uh, yeah, check out what we think of that new zoom. Bug fixes. Custom hotkeys no longer unbinds escape. Oh, okay. Uh, that's good. It did. I had a fix, but it was a workaround fix. Matchmaking now starts when using community maps. Alchemist healing spray now self heals. Okay, this was a bug. Good. Uh, okay. Is that why sometimes there was a disconnect out of a match find? Maybe that's why. Various missing textures located. Default resolution no longer. World editor limits race for reals. For real? For real? Uh, maybe this is some term I don't get. For reals. Oh, before it was like 255, and 255 has always been a common limit, right? For real? Queuing actions. Oh, that's good, because there were shift bugs. My wife said I was a keeper. Really? My wife said I was a war chief. I called her a lich, but she misheard it. <laughs> no, not really. Okay, so uh, ladder maps cleansed of sneaky tower locations near starting... Oh, poor Lynn. Blade Master mirror image. Okay, here we go with hero balance updates. Decrease mana cost. Please try out image. It's very useful. 125, 115, 110. And, and okay, I'm thinking I'd rather have Windwalk, even if they were the same cost, 75, 75. But I'm making a quiet resolution here. This weekend, I will have probably on fun day, Sunday, in two days from now, I'll do a mirror image only Blade Master session. For a few games in a row and we'll see because the first step of open-mindedness is just trying it out and if i'm like well i don't see why it would be good and i don't make it then i also can't create opportunities where it might be good 
I need to be able to adapt a bit. So we'll try it out. Uh, okay. And Shadow Hunter, Serpent Wards. Level one, increased damage from 11. Wow, what? Three extra damage. Wow. That's like 28% damage increase. Something like that. And the increase in HP. Wow, that's amazing. Dragon's Fen is going to be so happy. <laughs> yeah, Pertoron says it. Dragon's Fen buffs. Increase damage from 22 to 26. Plus 3, plus 3. And plus 3, plus... Wait. Plus 7, plus 7. Wow. It, wow. Okay. This is active now. I don't even need to experiment with this. I know this feels good. You ever know that feeling when you want to experiment, but you just know it's going to be good? This is good. All right. Dreadlord. Mana cost 10 down. Wow. And 100 damage more and 200 damage more. You know, as happy as I am with this as an orc, it seems pretty good. But then again, orc, I think, got to be weakest after the recent slew of changes. So, we'll see how it goes. I know that feeling, Kappa Pride. All right, Nogi. There we go. <laughs> Somehow I expected Twitch chat to react like that. I'm not disappointed. Thank you, Nogi. It's what I would have done if I was a Twitch chat user. Which I am. I would have done it in someone else's stream chat. Uh, mana burn nerf. Good. Well, that's good. You know, the mana burn will be equally effective. The range, the damage, the mana depletion, it's still really strong. But now, it's a little bit more of a realistic decision and mistake to over mana burn. Because mana on Moonwells does cost a lot of energy. So, if you're gonna do like that 10 mana burn on someone, that's gonna hurt you a little bit more and you'll run out of mana a little bit quicker and realistically demon hunter probably is one of the only heroes if not the only one that almost never has mana issues or pretty much never has mana issues like night of mirror demon hunter demon hunter sure but otherwise really never out of mana it's never a, a realistic decision shall i use a spell or not for every other hero it is except archmage level seven or something but overall, you can't just cast willy-nilly and the demon hunter could. So this is a good change. I don't know if it's enough. I would have probably done 65. But then uh, the night elf on my shoulder is saying like, no, 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 no. Do you remember saying it needs to be 10 mana more? That's exactly what happened. Did I say that? <laughs> yeah, but conversely, of course, immolation has big mana problems. Hmm? So, uh, this is, uh, the, if they wanted to just balance out his pick rates on mana burn emulation, first of all, I think that's, uh, impossible because you'll never balance it out. Mana burn is just better than, uh, oh, sure. If emulation does a thousand damage a second and mana burn burns for one mana, then it's balanced out properly where you want more emulation. But generally, generally mana burn does more than emulation. Right? It's more versatile. So... I would say that mana burn will remain more popular. Um, but if they just wanted to balance it out a bit, you would decrease mana cost for immo and increase mana cost for burn. But this to me says they think Demon Under probably is quite a good performer right now and we want to bring him down a little bit in general. This still, by comparison, makes emulation better, by relatively speaking, to mana burn, right? The values reshift, but without the uh, appropriate buff. It's the same with Blade Master. Uh, they down crit and they upped image. Well, image still isn't good enough, so generally it's a down on the blade. So that's that's what they do to heroes that seem uh, to be a bit too strong. Uh, Priestess gets another buff, a little bit more attack speed again. Okay, I, I thought it was lower already, but maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, more DPS. And Scout moves faster in general and much cheaper at one and at two. So Potom is already good in team play. So Scout is Scout and True Shot are the best parts about the Potom in team play. 
So if they want to buff bottom in team play, they should buff scout as they have, and they should buff true shots, which they haven't, right? But one of those two. So this is a team play buff. It's also a one on one buff, but uh, it's also a team play buff. And this is this is where it concerns me because I feel like with Possum, she's she's hundred percent meta in team, hundred percent meta in team play, but she's never seen in one on one. So there's only one thing that you can buff on bottom that makes her better at 1v1 while barely mattering in team play. And what what is that? Searing arrows and auto attack damage, baseline auto attack damage. Because that affects single target damage, which uh, in 2 on 2 is twice as less important. I mean it's it's half as important single target damage of of, of a certain absolute amount. Whereas Aras are double as important in 2v2. So, yeah, this is just going to be really strong in, in two on two, in my opinion. They should have probably buffed Searing for one on one. Or like, I don't know, don't touch her too much. Because the type of aura she has, she'll always be strong in team play. So whatever buff also buffs her in team play. Yeah, it looks like mana cost will be the same always, 50-50-50 on level 1, 2, 3. Before it was 100, 75, 50. And then known issues that are still existing and haven't fixed yet. I don't understand or have had any experience with any of these. Don't know, don't know, don't know. This is all map editor stuff. Oh, mamma mia! Okay, cool. So that's the changes uh, to PTR. And now I'm eager to try them out. Hope you enjoyed my little preview and review. Uh, I haven't spoken about anything that didn't change, which maybe should have. Because I didn't prepare this review. I didn't know what I'm going to find. Uh, maybe I could say like, oh yeah, Mountain King Thunderclap was buffed recently. And maybe that's too much. It's too strong. But I don't want to look at anything that hasn't happened yet. Just judging what I see here. Hope you enjoyed it, and now let's begin the stream. I'm only here for Cass. Well, then I may I present to you the one, the only, my lovely wife. <laughs> Grub <Ha -ha>. Cass. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, onesie. Random and orc. It doesn't change the search time. So uh, open up with the altar. Oh. And you go to Keeper Mass Hunts. So okay. ma maybe you don't remember the build. So it could it's uh, gonna be uh, full gold mine and then everything on Wisp, on Lumber. Okay. And you make as many Wisps Insufficient. as fits in your gold queue. Like however much money you have, you just spam it full of Wisps. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you have 160 Lumber, you build one Ace of War and one Huntress Hall simultaneously. Okay. And then you uh, produce until 18 food with Wisp, and then stop. Exactly 18. Okay. And the uh, 18th Wisp, the next one also makes like an Ace of War, but I'll tell you the timing. Okay. So do Ace of War? Yeah. Yeah. Your bill, your bill is Remember Keeper? Do I need another... Keeper oh. first? Okay. No, you just go to 160 uh, Lumber. Okay. You should have two Wisps in queue now. More lumber. Come on. Uh, cancel one Wisp. And now you make Hunter's Hall Insta 4. And uh, rally the new Wisp to the middle. Yeah, and make another Insta 4. Okay. Warriors of the night, assemble! The god 
goddess agrees. Onward. And go her and now you make Moonwell. We are poised to strike. Command. Nature is restless. And you can make one more Moonwell if you like. Right. Then we're done. Was okay. busy last weekend, now sitting currently ill at home. You are Couldn't built wait for the next man. WC3 stream. Now you're, you're back with Cass. That's some cute you're sheet. Missed you, bro. Cheers. You have one wisp too many. You had the habit of making additional wisps. Uh, yeah, random. just in case. Yeah, but it doesn't work that way because now you don't have a. Uh, now you don't have room for another for a huntress. You see. So I'm gonna do this. My no! Yep. Sorry. That was a good wisp. <laughs> I know chat is gonna guilt trip me over that. <laughs> Just keep spamming hands. As I thought. Command. We must act. We are poised to strike. Cross Two orcs, guys. Kill them. We are poised to strike. So shall it be. Trust in my command. We are poised to strike. Is restless. I thank you. Hey Grubby, as you know, the human siege tanks in WC3 are relatively easily created. Cannot be ignored and take a long time to destroy. Also, when destroyed, they give little to no XP because they are treated as buildings. Shouldn't the given XP be changed? Okay, I'll take all the hands. Okay. Yeah, it's true. Steam tanks are pretty strong, Carrick. But, um... Yeah, maybe they should give more XP, who knows? A bit bit hard. I'll answer after the chat again, okay? After the game, I mean. Let's go, guys. I'll take your hands. Go put okay. some pressure. You can take my... Oh, you can give me all your lumber, uh, except a little bit, and then we can AP rush. How about... Okay. Make it, you must act. Leading the way. As I thought. The goddess agrees. I do have enough. Goddess, light, yeah, thank you. I am vigilant. Trust in my command. I am We are poised to Our warriors have engaged. You must act. It's quite a long map. Yeah. Trust in my command. I shall not fear. Make it fast. The time is now. I am in position. Speak your mind. Uh, maybe a little bit of gold? Okay. Make it fast. Trust in my command. I am strong. We must act. No tier 2, right? Yeah. Oh. Oops. I need to pull back a bit. Uh, hide the low huntresses and don't don't move your whole control group. Okay. Leading the way. Should I bring them home? No, let's uh, kill. Let's kill them a bit. Okay. Because they're gonna get demo soon, so we're gonna go in now. Surprisingly. Okay. Doesn't matter if we lose that. I 
We're just noob rushing. <laughs> <laughs> we can make AP in our home, okay? Make one AP in your home. Okay. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Two GG. more, two more players that quit Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we didn't micro dance, to be honest. 